Hello everybody, I'm Toya. <laughs> and I'm Robert. And welcome to Toya and Robert's Upbeat Moments. Boy, have we been having some upbeats this week, lovey. It's been really good. We've been together with my family. So that's my brother, my sister, nephew, their spouses. It's been a really lovely, lovely occasion. No fighting, no arguments, because we haven't seen each other for 11 months. Which is no reason not. But however, may I say that for my long history of the Wilcox family, they were on good behaviour. It was lovely, really nice. I think part of it is because we're maturing, we really make the most of the time we have in a very positive way. Are we maturing, dear? Well, any, anyway, so we did a photo shoot this week and the photo shoot is because we're having to think 12 months ahead. We've got a Christmas tour coming up in 11 months and we had to shoot the posters and the promotional shots. And this meant I wanted to get Robert out of a three-piece suit. And what he's wearing today is part of this historic occasion. But it also meant as soon as he sat down to have his first photo taken, I needed to give him two more Christmas presents. Shall we have a look? I am so excited, but I have no idea what this is. Please, please, may I have a clue? Um, well, it's heavy. <laughs> and I don't want you to drop it because it's... It's quite valuable. May I look down? Yeah, of course. <sighs> so we're going to take a picture with it. <laughs> oh, lovely. Oh, lovely. I love it. So it's going to be like a, a kind of 1800s um, American portrait. Oh. Oh. So you've had two of your presents today. Well, little lovey, may I say Christmas has come early and I was happy as I was. I am now even happier. I I let's go it. for a kind of high head. Yeah, that's it. That's it, that's it, that's it. Just stay exactly where you are. How's that? that shoot for you baby it was superb now i am not generally one who looks forward to or engages positively in photo sessions i regret to say but this one was a stunner it was we found a very wonderful new local photographic talent he also plays drums i think we've made a fantastic connection which is brilliant and he made the whole shoot very fun and effortless and he kind of joined in with the Toya and Robert spirit of eccentricity. This is true and I love my Christmas presents. Well they get, they're wrapped up and they're waiting for Christmas day for you to reopen them but this is part of Robert's new look. I noticed from my one of my Christmas presents notably the shirt that there was a suggestion being made to me, a direction that I might like to follow, and this I have done, and this is another example of suchness. You look hot. Thank you, sweetie. Now, one, one more serious upbeat moment for this week was the superb Charles Hazelwood Beethoven documentary. Beethoven and me. And me, Sky Arts. How the... Very strong emotional experiences, even sometimes dramatic, may be expressed in music. And he, um, Charles Hazelwood suggests Beethoven, Beethoven took his trauma and expressed it musically. How I would say in a positive way is, turn a seeming disadvantage to our advantage. The greater the seeming disadvantage, the greater the possible advantage, even Triumph, triumphant composition. What I got from it is nobody is so-called normal. There's no such thing as normal. But our experiences and our beliefs of forces working against us or harming us can lead to phenomenal creativity. And I think this is really important that we encourage our children to pick up paintbrushes. We encourage our children to get involved with music, to play music, to create things, make their own clothes, to generally express themselves as unique human beings through creativity, to help them understand themselves. And Charles's, Charles Hazelwood's documentary 
is a very stunning journey through Charles's life, recognising that his experiences have led to the utterly unique human being he is today, but also to work his way through a forest of confusion, hurt, and what he feels others have imposed upon him, quite rightly. It's a very important documentary and I think everybody should see it. They really should. There is nothing, that nothing is normal. We are all unique. I am continuing to reflect on it in my own life. I'm trying to encourage Robert to stop reflecting so negatively on his past and see the more positive things about his life. And this is a very good documentary that I insisted that you watched and I'm so glad you've seen it. Now, we do go to bed and we watch our lovely TV in bed, but there's one thing that Robert cannot watch that gives me absolute joy. And that is a series we have in the UK that's just started called Fur Babies, about pets giving birth. I love it. I absolutely love it. But Robert did watch the guinea pig giving birth on TV. I shall now impersonate the guinea pig giving birth. And this leads to a doodle I've done for Hope for Hedgehogs. And a whole team of people have been giving these doodles to raise money to help protect hedgehogs. And I'm going to mention it quickly because it's fun. You've got doodles by illustrators, authors, comedians, myself. And if you Google Jumble Bee Hog Doodle, it should come up and it'll make a nice original gift for someone is a doodle of a hedgehog. Boom. Now, because it's Christmas and people are disappearing. And what I mean by that is there's less email, there's less people to do business with. It means I can pick up my Stephen King book that I have not read since August. There is the, the mid of August there marked when I stopped reading my gorgeous Stephen, Stephen King book. But in my library, I have a shelf of horror books. And these are horror books that I try to get through throughout the year. And I found one I bought in 1981 that I intended to read. And I never got to read it. And I will be reading Spawn over the Christmas holiday. So you've been kind of busy for the past 42 years then, Lovey? Yep, not complaining. Not complaining. So tomorrow we will have for you an archive Sunday lunch. We are doing new Sunday lunches for you, Christmas Day and New Year's Day, which we're looking forward to. Robert's already playing with his toys. Lots of love to you all. From Toya. And? From Robert. Happy Christmas, everybody. We'll see you out there very soon. Lots of love. <laughs>